four B, and the winner is one. Vocabulary. Listen and match the words in bold with their meanings A to E. One. I didn't manage to finish my project on time. I was very disappointed. Two. I was nervous before the exam, but everything went well. It was easy. Three. Greg did well in the maths competition, and his parents were proud of him. Four. The coach is confident that his team will win the next game. Five. I'm confused. Is Mr. Blake's office on the second or third floor? Okay, so now after we're listening, hello again. We're gonna to um, have short space, short time in order to think. Okay, just thirty seconds, please. Okay, I think with you. I didn't manage to finish my project on time. I was very disappointed. Which one of those? What the meaning of disappointed? Is it worried about bad things that may happen? Pleased? Or feeling sure? Or upset? Or feeling that you cannot understand? You have five sentences. You have to choose the right one. Disappointed? Yeah. Very good. It's D. Upset. So disappointed have have bad feeling. Uh, you you have uh, some bad feelings. You are little sad because things haven't happened as you expect. Okay, I was nervous. I was nervous before the exam, but everything went well. It was easy. So nervous. Yeah. What do you think nervous is? Yeah, very good. A worried. So nervous here means worried. Okay, nervous, worried. You have unexpected reactions when you you become nervous. So you are all the time you are are always worried about things. So it means you are nervous. Number three. Greg did well in the math competition and his parents were proud of him so proud yeah he did well so proud it have to be uh, um, it, sorry it has to be a, a positive energy so proud yeah which one is uh, energetic one feeling sure that you can do it uh, you can do something and be successful or feeling that you cannot understand or pleased about something. Yeah, very good. It's uh, B. Pleased about something. The coach is confident that his team will win. When we used to will win, so it will happen in the future, he is sure. So confident means, yeah, very good. It means that um, feeling sure. So it will be C. I'm confused. So confused, yeah, it means feeling that you cannot understand what is happening. Confused, you have no idea. You have no idea what is going on. Okay. After that, this is a short conversation between Bill, Ali, and Tom. Of course, this is very easy uh, conversation. Uh, we have to, um, yeah, uh, these words, I think, we're gonna to have... I wanted to finish my sculpture for the art competition. Yeah. I wanted to finish my sculpture. Um, I wanted to have a circle here, so... Sculpture, okay. 
I wanted to have another uh, circle yeah put a circle where competition yeah we we'll take it um, of course what about the impressing this word we have in this dialogues capture and impressing of course you know what is the meaning of this capture could you think about it I wanted I wanted to finish my sculpture for the art competition so look at the picture what uh, can sculpture be yeah very good this is I think yeah I think here's something like the statue for example uh, a figure a figure that he is working on building it okay what about impressing so um, what if I come in last place impressing or what so impressing it is an adjective when you feeling uh, f uh, failure when you fail okay so let's go to the next one okay 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 let's uh, out okay um i don't think so we yeah disappointed yeah we, we have this one disappointed so we have disappointed here like it before yeah and there is another word yeah confident very good you know uh, the meaning of talented when you have a gift a talent and we take proud of yeah so you have to be careful with these all words okay so proud here we have disappointed we have confident we are proud of these are more new vocabularies you have to study it well okay after that okay the question if you wanted to write the question here or the answers of the question you have to think okay you have to make pause you have to make pause for the video then write the answer or check your answer I'll show you the answers but promise me you couldn't write it till you have finished reading first okay let's move to the second one the grammar uh, the grammar here yeah we have three three circle we don't want them anymore so the difference between so and neither neither or neither both uh, are correct so so or neither they are the negative they are the opposite of each other I'm nervous about the exam I can say so am I be careful when you use a sentence after so we put the verb before the mm, the noun or the uh, pronoun uh, so am I or I'm not what uh, so am I or can say it means um, uh, I'm not so uh, so am I this is the uh, positive or affirmative and I'm not this is the negation answer I played football last Sunday so did I notes that we use did the first uh, after so but before the subject so did I I can't say so I did no that's wrong I have to say so did I so did I so I did the same thing or I didn't of course here we have two affirmative sentences these are not negative sentences so you will use so am I so did I what about the negative sentence 
the negative senses the negation ones i haven't been abroad yet here is haven't we have not here what could we use we use so or neither very good we have to use neither neither have i and we have to put have first and then we'll put the pronoun i Flan I can draw very well so I can say neither can I it means I can't do uh, or I can't draw like her so neither can I okay so we have finished the grammar and the vocabulary for the beginning of the lesson for B thanks a lot tell we meet again goodbye my dear students